Within the vast expanse of the universe, mankind has begun to investigate. Despite our boundless curiosity, we have often pondered the presence of life beyond Earth, wondering whether or not we are unique in the universe. However, a noteworthy event transpired with the arrival of our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, an element unlike any we have experienced before. This sparked curiosity about the obscure realms beyond our planet. Notably, the esteemed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson recently revealed never-before-seen declassified images of Oumuamua, stirring interest in who might have sent this extraterrestrial emissary. The significance of Earth's encounter with Oumuamua and its implications are explored under the guidance of astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson as we delve into the mystery surrounding this unique interstellar traveler. In 2017, an unusual find using the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope by Robert Warrick introduced us to an object hurtling towards Earth. The presence of Oumuamua ignited an intense shift in our understanding of space and its perpetual possibilities. Despite its notoriety, our knowledge of Oumuamua has remained insufficient. Considering public interest, Neil deGrasse Tyson revealed previously classified images of Oumuamua, sharing insights into its profound impact on our local planetary community. Before delving into the secrets hidden in these long-concealed photos, it is crucial to appreciate the captivating essence of Oumuamua. On October 19, 2017, the Hawaii-based Haleakala Observatory made a pivotal observation of what appeared to be a comet or space rock, later identified as the first interstellar object detected within our solar system. Its unconventional orbit and rapid velocity suggested an extraterrestrial origin, earning it the name Oumuamua. To better understand its structure, astronomers compared it to similar solar system objects like the asteroid 25143 Itakawa, which the Hayabusa mission visited in 2005. While Itakawa shared some features with Oumuamua, the interstellar visitor's elongated shape and absence of a tail set it apart. Adding to the mystery is Oumuamua's remarkable acceleration, akin to a bicycle suddenly speeding up without pedaling. Entering our planetary system from above, it came astoundingly close to the sun before passing below the planetary plane, maintaining an unprecedented pace of around 196,000 miles per hour, indicative of immense dynamic energy. This speed is unmatched by any human-made object, highlighting Oumuamua's extraordinary journey through our solar system. The high speed of Oumuamua has led to speculation that it might have originated from a binary star system. This hypothesis suggests that gravitational interactions within such systems can impart high speeds to objects. If Oumuamua did indeed come from a paired system, the gravitational forces from the stars might have propelled it on its interstellar journey, explaining its incredible velocity. Beyond its speed, studies have revealed intriguing details about Oumuamua's composition. It features a dense outer layer akin to a carbon-rich crust hardened by extensive radiation during its long journey through interstellar space. Beneath this protective exterior, Oumuamua exhibits a highly dense interior, primarily composed of rock and possibly metallic elements. What sets it apart is the absence of water or ice, distinguishing it from typical comets or icy celestial bodies. Furthermore, Oumuamua's surface has a reddish hue, a result of prolonged exposure to cosmic rays over millions of years. Many have sought insights from prominent experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku regarding Oumuamua. Interestingly, Neil deGrasse Tyson refrained from commenting on the matter until substantial evidence and the new declassified images were made available, leaving everyone eagerly anticipating his perspective. Several experts suggest that Oumuamua's elongated shape and light-bending characteristics indicate it might be part of a larger structure. If Oumuamua broke off from a larger object due to an impact or other violent events, it could have gained significant speed during the detachment process. This implies that Oumuamua's speed is not inherent to its nature but rather a consequence of past events. Comparisons can be drawn with comets and asteroids in our solar system, which navigate at various speeds. While some comets can achieve velocities similar to Oumuamua, they often display residual gas and dust due to their volatile composition. In contrast, Oumuamua showed no such attributes, distinguishing it from known cometary objects. 
Likewise, most asteroids in our solar system move at considerably slower rates than Oumuamua. The typical orbital speed of the main asteroid belt, for instance, is about 17,800 miles per hour, less than a fifth of Oumuamua's estimated velocity. This discrepancy highlights the unique nature of Oumuamua's speed and its differentiation from natural solar system objects. Some experts speculate that Oumuamua may be more than a naturally occurring object. They propose that it could be an artificially created construct, meticulously crafted by a high-level extraterrestrial civilization. According to this hypothesis, Oumuamua's extraordinary features could serve various functionalities. Its elongated shape might enhance its stability during interstellar travel, while its propulsion system could allow precise maneuvering through the universe. Figures like Avi Loeb, an Israeli-American theoretical physicist and cosmologist, strongly support this hypothesis. Loeb even proposed a controversial theory that Oumuamua might be of extraterrestrial origin, suggesting that it could be an artificial object or even a piece of alien technology. He argued that its unconventional properties, such as its elongated shape and unusual acceleration, might indicate an artificial origin. This idea sparked significant discussion and debate within mainstream science, noting that many prominent researchers and astronomers have expressed skepticism about these claims. The prevailing view among most scientists is that Oumuamua is naturally a comet or an asteroid, with its abnormal properties resulting from natural processes. Wesley C. Fraser and other researchers used combined brightness measurements from multiple telescopes to analyze its rotation period. They concluded that no spin length could account for the observed brightness variations. Instead, the object appears to be tumbling in an excited rotational state, a movement unlike any seen before. This abnormal rotation has baffled scientists since its discovery. Observations by astronomers have provided valuable insights into Oumuamua's rotation. It completes a full rotation every 7.3 hours, which is relatively fast compared to the rotational times of other objects in our solar system. Furthermore, its brightness changes significantly as it turns, showing that different parts of the object reflect sunlight to varying degrees. This irregular rotation has bewildered scientists and led to various intriguing theories. One theory proposed to explain Oumuamua's spin is the spin-induced outgassing hypothesis. According to this idea, volatile materials beneath its surface are exposed to solar radiation as the object tumbles through space, causing it to disintegrate and create small gas jets. These jets act as engines, exerting a force on Oumuamua and causing it to spin erratically. Another theory suggests that Oumuamua's tumbling motion could result from an earlier impact with another object. It is possible that a high-speed collision distorted its shape and set it into an irregular spin. However, the exact nature of such an impact and the involved object remain speculative due to limited observational data. Detailed examination of Oumuamua's shape, structure, and surface features could provide clues supporting these theories. To better understand Oumuamua's peculiar motion, let us consider other celestial objects with similar behaviors. One such object is the asteroid 4179 Tatatis, discovered in 1989, which exhibits a tumbling motion similar to Oumuamua. Scientists have proposed several theories to explain Tatatis's whimsical spin, including the yarkovsky oki fradzievsky paddock YORP, effect. According to this effect, sunlight applies a force on the object due to uneven thermal radiation gradually altering its rotation and leading to its irregular tumbling motion. Another example is Comet 67P slash Churyumov, Gerasimenko, commonly known as 67P, which also exhibits irregular rotation. Scientists discovered 67P on September 11, 1969. This comet orbits the Sun and features a striking shape and unusual construction, with two distinct lobes connected by a narrow neck. It belongs to the Jupiter family of comets, indicating that its origin may be traced back to the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by icy bodies. However, scientists believe that gravitational perturbations caused by Jupiter's immense gravity trapped 67P into its current orbit. Regarding Oumuamua, scientists believe that outgassing and interactions with sunlight might have caused the peculiar acceleration and tumbling motion observed. 
continued study and observation of Oumuamua and similar celestial objects will likely provide further insights into their nature and behavior, shedding light on the mysteries of the universe. The release of volatile substances from its surface plays a significant role in its tumbling motion. As the ice on the comet's surface disintegrates due to solar radiation, it creates localized jets that act like engines, adjusting the comet's rotation. The similarities between Oumuamua and these objects suggest potential common factors responsible for their unusual spins. Further investigation and detailed study of these objects can provide valuable insights into the nature of Oumuamua. The origin of Oumuamua has also been a topic of much speculation. Several scientists have proposed that it might be a fragment of a larger body ejected from its home star system due to gravitational interactions or a catastrophic event. This ejection might have imparted an initial spin to Oumuamua, which has persisted throughout its interstellar journey. The exact process by which Oumuamua was catapulted and its subsequent trajectory remains uncertain, highlighting the need for more data and further exploration. However, there is a possibility that Oumuamua is a byproduct of a collision between two objects in a distant star system. The resulting debris could have been flung into interstellar space, with Oumuamua being one of the pieces trapped in our local planetary system's gravitational pull. Without further evidence, these hypotheses remain speculative. Detailed examination of Oumuamua's composition, isotopic ratios, and surface features could provide clues about its origin and shed light on the mechanisms involved in its curious spin and motion. As depicted in these images, the absence of apparent emissions puzzled researchers significantly. Furthermore, this lack of visible emanation ruled out the possibility of Oumuamua being a typical comet or asteroid, presenting an intriguing puzzle that required further investigation. There is a possibility that Oumuamua's absence of emanation can be explained by it being a dormant comet. In typical comets, the icy composition disintegrates as they approach the sun, resulting in an emission trail. However, if Oumuamua had lost most of its volatile materials due to repeated near encounters with stars during its long interstellar journey, the absence of visible emanation could be accounted for. High radiation from these encounters may have stripped away Oumuamua's volatile components, leaving behind a rocky or metallic body without typical coma features. This provided room for the possibility that Oumuamua is an interstellar asteroid. If Oumuamua were a space rock, the absence of a coma emission could be explained, as asteroids generally do not exhibit the same outgassing behavior as comets. However, Oumuamua's elongated shape remains a mystery, as space rocks in our solar system typically have more irregular shapes. Some scientists suggest that the elongated shape could result from gravitational forces experienced during close encounters with a star or planet in its parent star system. Additionally, the asteroid Bennu, the target of NASA's OSIRIS-RX mission, offers an intriguing comparison. Bennu, classified as a primitive carbonaceous asteroid, did not display any visible emanation during its close encounters with Earth. However, this absence of visible emission was expected as Bennu's surface was predominantly rocky with minimal volatile content. This demonstrates that asteroids, unlike comets, generally do not exhibit visible emission, aligning with the notion that Oumuamua could be an interstellar asteroid. What were Neil deGrasse Tyson's views on the declassified images? After releasing the declassified images, Neil deGrasse Tyson took on the responsibility of actively investigating and deciphering the details and potential implications of Oumuamua. Tyson always emphasizes evidence-based inquiry in his discussions on Oumuamua, highlighting the importance of approaching the subject with skepticism while exploring the fascinating concept of Oumuamua as a messenger. This approach reflects the essence of scientific inquiry, where various theories are conceived, tested, and either validated or invalidated. Tyson suggests that the universe may be far more mysterious and complex than our current understanding. He also views Oumuamua as a test that challenges our technological and scientific capabilities. How we perceive, track, and analyze it demonstrates our growing proficiency in space observation and exploration. Furthermore, Oumuamua challenges our scientific models with its unexpected acceleration, unique shape, and trajectory that defy simple explanation. Tyson sees this as a test of our scientific adaptability 
Can we adjust our theories and models to accommodate this new data? Or will we try to fit it into existing frameworks? Oumuamua's swift passage through our planetary system required swift coordinated efforts from the global academic community. Tyson considers this a test of our ability to collaborate, share knowledge, and pool resources in the face of an unexpected cosmic event. It raises questions about how we responded to this test and what lessons we have learned to prepare for future celestial visitors. Tyson explores the possibility that Oumuamua could be intentionally sent our way, posing not just a test of detection but also of interpretation. Could we ever grasp a message or signal embedded in its shape or behavior? And if so, how would we respond? These questions remain unanswered, and the quest for answers continues. Another perspective Tyson explores is the true nature of Oumuamua as an interstellar messenger. Rather than being a mere test or curiosity, could it ever be a vessel carrying envoys from another star system? While this speculation might seem like science fiction, Tyson argues that we should consider all possibilities, no matter how fantastic they may seem. After all, the universe is vast, ancient, and full of wonders yet to be discovered. Tyson's belief in Oumuamua as both an interstellar curiosity and a potential messenger demonstrates the depth of his scientific inquiry. His approach blends wonder, skepticism, and rigorous scientific research, challenging how we interpret life in the universe, the nature of celestial objects, and our place in the vast tapestry of existence. The implications of Tyson's theories are profound, ranging from technological advancements to philosophical reflections. They disrupt conventional astrophysical theories and have the potential to reshape our understanding of the universe. If any of his theories hold true, they would mark a significant paradigm shift and propel us into a new era of space exploration.